We're buying fish online with the help of our trusty cell phone app, OfferUp. Let's go ahead and see what we could buy. We have new fish for our monster fish tank. Our first member, our newest member, check it out guys. All right, Slayers, so we just went ahead and left Predatory Fins and I was looking at my local app. I don't know if it's like an app for everybody, but definitely they have the app down here in South Florida where you can use OfferUp, LetGo, or Craigslist to go ahead and possibly purchase things off the internet from like private people. And I found a group of beautiful fish. I mean, amazing predatory fish. I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Hopefully the guy lets me record. If not, I'll go ahead and meet you at the house. But regardless guys, we're gonna go ahead and pick up some monster predatory fish. I am so excited. This is like super unexpected guys. All right, Slayers, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I found this guy, okay? So I went on my OfferUp app and I typed in fish tank. I usually do that. Check this about, honestly, every day to see what's available. Wow, look at this FX6. Big condition, right? Uses filter for five months, works perfect. Okay, that's not bad. I have to look into that. Look at the 90 gallon fish tank. Then 200 bucks. Everything you see there, huh? I don't know about the books, I don't really read, but uh, there's a lot of stuff available on these apps, guys. A lot of stuff. Oh, uh, look, even the shrimp tanks. See? The shrimp tanks with the crawfish? Yeah, it's perfect. So what I did, if I can get there, <laughs> is that I went to this guy's ad. He had this available. Now, it says sold because he went ahead and put it sold prior to me picking it up so that no one can go ahead and pick it up or bother him about it. So if you see right here, here's a red tail. Here's an arowana. Here's a clown eye fish. Here's a red tail tiger shovel nose hybrid clown again and an arowana and then the tiger shovel nose so went ahead and messaged him and we agreed on a good price this is what he wanted these prices right here 100 bucks for the catfish arowana was 80 red tail was 50 the royal knife fish wasn't really royal it was a regular clown knife that was 80 bucks 80 bucks 50 i'm like how big 8 to 14 inches i'm like wow that's pretty big i go how much for a bundle and he goes, uh, give me an offer to see what we can do. I was like, 200 He goes, yeah, I can work that out. Perfect. So I went ahead and we exchanged numbers. And uh, yeah, pretty much. And uh, we're heading over there now. And hopefully, we can go ahead and record. If not, no big deal. I'll show you when I get home. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, Ninja? What you, what you want? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? That's right, guys. The noise behind me. We have new fish for our monster fish tank. Yes, guys, I wasn't able to go ahead and film at this location because obviously it was a private residence and I was purchasing these fish right here on a up. So with that being said, guys, I am super excited to show you what's in here. But first, I gotta go ahead and show you that we do have an empty tank. We no longer have these Mayans. They've been moved to Wild World of Farley's Pond as well as Zach was using them for feedings. Like I told you guys, that's exactly what's going to happen. But the good news is now we have a lot of room for our monster fish, which are here, which I'll be showing you guys shortly. I'm going to go ahead and get them ready. Good to go. I'm going to get the water from there and do a drip system all in here. You're going to go ahead and see them very, very shortly. All right, guys. So the time has finally come when we are ready to go ahead and add our fish. I do wish I could have recorded. I, I was with my boys and we weren't allowed to record, but it's okay, it's okay, it's no big deal. With that being said though, here we go. Our first member, our newest member, check it out guys. We now have a beautiful tiger shovel nose catfish. It's very big, very nice, very nice. We also have a red tail catfish, yes. A very nice red tail catfish. And my favorite of all, tiger shovel nose red tail hybrid. And also, a clown knife fish, yes, a clown knife fish. And what we have here oh, is that an arahuana? An arahuana in there. And what we also have in here are two little mystery people, which I'll be going ahead and showing you guys very soon. So, like I said, we still got a little bit longer for the acclimation. We're about done. I gotta be, I gotta like add a little bit, then go add a little bit. It's a lot of fish. As you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it? Is that what it is? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Oh, it's a lot of fish. It's a lot of fish. So I couldn't say no when I went ahead and found these on the way back from Rod's place. I could not say no. It was just like a, such a perfect deal, guys. So I'm so happy to go ahead and be able to share these fish with you very, very soon in this beautiful tank. Oh, it's going to look so good. Nice and full. No longer empty. Oh, man, I'm so excited. So we're going to give them a little bit longer and we'll be good to go. 
Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and add the clown knife first. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off. Ooh. And, oh, look at that. Let me go ahead and see if I can give you guys a better shot right now of the clown knife. Look at those spots. Look at everything. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful clown knife fish. We might be going fishing for those very soon. Here we go. As long as he cooperates, we might be really lucky and we can add him. One, two. Oh, he's tensing up. If he falls in the back, it's okay. All right. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh, I got him perfectly. Oh man. Look at that clown. Look at that clown. Guys in the comments below, can you guys measure him? Mm hmm. I think he's about uh, nine inches. I'm gonna go with nine inches. But also guys, I'm gonna need help naming these guys. We're gonna go ahead and name this guy too. We're naming every single fish guys. In the next video, when I go ahead and show them all when they're all in this tank, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that I show you each and every single name. So be sure to be dropping those names in the comment section below. Don't worry, Ninja, you'll have your moment. Relax, buddy, relax. So the next guy shall be possibly the red tail or the red tail hybrid. But I'm scared of catfish because they have these barbs on the side. So I don't know if I can go ahead and pick them up. Let's see how he is. Come on. Come on. Join into the, the lair. I really don't want to get cut up by him. I'm really spooked because it's no joke. We'll see what we can do here. So he looks really good. Oh, please don't move too much. I think we got him here. So Slayers, I've carefully secured our brand new red tail catfish in the net. And here we go. Don't thrash, turn around, get out. Get out, yeah. Oh, he's really big. Oh, he looks good in this tank. Looks good, looks good. Go ahead and make yourself at home, buddy. Ah, uh, let's see how big he is. Guys, in the comments below, go ahead and name a red tail catfish. Now for the tiger shovel nose. Alrighty, alrighty, here we go. Here's a nice little look. We gotta get inside the bag. Bear with me, guys. I am solo dolo today. And we have our guy here. Please don't move around. That fin will cut me. But he is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and try to support him with the belly. And add him to the tank very, very safely. I don't know why I'm whispering, but bear with me, guys. We have a beautiful tiger shovel nose hybrid here. Here we go. Here we go going into the tank right now. Be free, my friend. Be free. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He looks so good. Go ahead and name this guy. Oh my God. So we have our tiger shovel nose hybrid. We have our tiger shovel nose. We have a clown. We have a red tail. Time for a tiger shovel nose hybrid. All right, guys. So here's our tiger shovel nose hybrid. We're gonna move him closer just in case. We don't want to go ahead and have him fall on the floor. But uh, let's go ahead and move the stone. That was making sure he was alive and well. There you go. And there he is, guys. Our tiger shovel nose red tail hybrid. Hopefully he doesn't give me a hard time. Oh, he might be a feisty one. They are the most aggressive ones of them all. So. Let's see what happens. Oh, please bear with me. Please, I'm just trying to get you in the tank and show you to the slayers. So guys, he was very difficult to go ahead and get with my hands. So I got him with the net. Here we go. We're gonna add our guy right now. Oh gosh, we gotta get him out. Gotta get him out, gotta get him out. Go ahead. Be free. Oh, he's so beautiful. So far my favorite thus far. So far my favorite guys. Name him in the comments below. Oh, I love Red tail tiger showing those hybrids, guys. All right, so we still have a couple left. Two you haven't seen, but I'm gonna show you right now. We have a little pleco, which is in here. Let's see what happens. We have a little pleco, which is in here, and we have a albino bicher. So let's go ahead and add the bicher. Whoo, man, <laughs> you can't really appreciate him here, but let's go ahead and add him to the tank. Here you go. All right, all right, do the reverse. Whoa. <laughs> He looks so good. He looks absolutely amazing. This pleco, it's definitely not one of the Floridian plecos we have here, the sail fins, but he's very, very pretty in his coloration. Hold pleco, be nice. Don't get too flared up. Look at that. What a colorful pleco, look at that. He looks so good. Never had a pleco in a tank before for me, personally, but there's always a first. Wee! He looks so good there, bro. You look good. 
so angry and everything very unique pleco guys very unique again like i said whoa relax chill out chill out i know it's a new home relax we're almost done now slayers i saved the best for last guys the best for last but also i didn't want to go ahead and have to deal with the arowana jumping around while i went ahead and added the other fish so here we go guys we're gonna go ahead and add our arowana bear with me i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is as soon as i'm gonna show you guys right now how pretty this arowana is and we all know what happens with arowanas in bags and just period they jump so i'm gonna carefully go ahead and add that arowana into this tank and i'll show you the final result all right so bear with me guys all right slayer so i managed to go ahead and get the arowana in the net and he's being very docile so we might be able to go ahead and add them together here we go one two three come on oh yeah that is a beautiful arowana it's a little stressed obviously because it's a brand new environment but whew, so pretty so pretty let's go ahead and have a look at our guys we have the pleco out here just sucking on the glass like they usually do we have the beautiful bicher who is so active it's so good beautiful albino bicher our arowana who is doing great just figured out that the return is there and it's like whoa what was that we have our tiger shovel nose we have our tiger shovel nose hybrid our red tails below and our clown we're all set i couldn't even complain this is this is a very nice tank once everyone gets comfortable there, it's going to be absolutely A-OK. -okay. There's Ninja in the back. If you look closely all the way there, there's Ninja in the back. <laughs> it's pretty insane, guys. I got super lucky with these fish that I got here on Offer Up. I am so happy with it, and I hope you guys are really happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. We added one, two, a lot of fish here. It's kind of dense, but we're going to also be adding substrate and everything to go ahead and make sure that everything looks absolutely perfect for these guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Oh, man. Arowana looks good. Everyone looks good. Again, drop the names in the comments below, guys, because I really want to go ahead and see what you go ahead and name our fish. So till next time, I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah.